lots of fiddly bits. I've been playing with flight sims for long enough to know that when you go up a version number you generally need to improve your computer. No exception for me then for X-Plane 11. I've installed it over the weekend and it runs terribly slowly. Just like this on this machine that I've had for five years. I'm installing it on my eldest son's mach gaming machine right now. So that should change. But there's a couple of things in X-Plane 11 that are good for us. So first off we need to get it to speak to Mission Planner. Do that... Uh, data output 127.0.0.1 and select the same um, output settings as is shown in the instructions everywhere for 10 and a half and then in the network port receive 49001 port we send 49002 that should work for you works for me the first thing that you can get hold of is an airfield pack and it's fantastic i'll put a link below that's got the bigger airfields in the city the base of X-Plane has very few airplanes, so that's cool. But this is very cool. Little nav map is a flight planner. There's Aberporth. Look, that's all the um, segregated airspace around Aberporth for drone testing, which is cool. That's the one for Jamie. Then look down in the southwest of England. That's also segregated airspace for drones and other things. And then up on Salisbury Plain. That's also drone testing airspace. So the cool thing with this is that it pulls your database from X-Plane 11 in this case and it will pull in all those football pictures and we can quite easily set up a flight plan like this. And off there. Now, there's all my little FP, all the little football pictures. So let's go off to, um, well, let's go off to Vented. No, uh, that's a good one, isn't it? Uh, credi credi credibly Trifle Recurrences. That's a good one to go to. And it will give us an altitude profile on the way. So if we have someone that does flight planning and things like that, this, I think, will be the standard tool. This little nav map is open source, and it's only, only for X-Plane 11, unfortunately. So I am going to have to get it working on my son's gaming machine. And it's worldwide, because, of course, the database you've got in, um, in X-Plane is, is, is worldwide. So you've got all the extras I've put on, which do work, as you can see, even though it doesn't run properly on my machine. Just a pity, just a pity that we can't export this into, into directly into Mission Planner, but we could maybe twist someone's arm to prove that or get that working. That would be great, wouldn't it? There we are. If you're doing some flights in America, it does the same. Obviously, the caveat is do not use this for real flying. Like, subscribe, do whatever else you need to do on the Tube of U, and don't forget to watch us every Tuesday at 21 GMT for our weekly hangout full of nonsense. Cheers for now.